Okay, friends. So we're here in Lower Hall's Delight. We're going to do a little walkthrough of a neat system. That is a three-bedroom house, and they've had this system for some time now. We're going. To, we're hopefully going to get to talk to the owner and the user of the system, and we we'll get an insight into how how things really go with solar system. Right, so here we have, well, we do have a ladder, so this is the best view we can get at the panels because I'm kind of on the second floor. So we have eight panels. This is important for everybody to note, just so you know, um, your solar panels should be facing south. If they're facing any other way, you probably don't, won't get as much from them as you, you, you should really get what you're paying for. So yes, these are all, um, all eight of them gloriously displayed there at the front of the house, all facing south. Um, we are in, in, in the northern hemisphere, so this is why, this is the reason for that. So yeah man, so the, as, as, as we can see, it, it's, it's nice looking and it provides actually more power than they need, really. So when, you, when they have visitors and so, they won't have any issues. Uh, as, you, as you can see, this is a, what do you call it, so like a hip, a hip roof, like, you know. In the shape of your roof, we, we are able to work with, with your roof. Um, it doesn't really matter the shape of your roof, we can make it work for you. So it's um, regardless if it's a flat roof, because you know, if it's a flat roof, we can do that. If it's a hip roof, we can do that. Um, we're, our, our technicians are very skilled in making it happen. Um, we use nut and bolts and um, zinc roofing screws to install the panel. So um, these, these can withstand a hurricane quite easily. I'd, I'd say up to a four, category four. All right, so now that we have seen the panels, where the power comes, where the power comes in from above, we're going to take a little walk now and go down to the, the business end of things, where the power is stored and distributed. It's in the garage down this way. All right, friends. So as you can see here, we're in the garage. Um, there's actually a vehicle parked here. So you don't need a special room to put the, the equipment. It just needs to be a relatively clean area. It is not, you know, it, it can't be outside, so it's indoors. This is an indoor, it's a garage. Um, but you don't need a special room. You can just put it in a garage like this, and it's, it's perfectly fine. So we have here eight essential maintenance free batteries. We have a 6 kilowatt inverter and the charge controller. And it's all set up nicely in this area. It's quite glorious. Providing power for a three bedroom home here in House Delight. You know, with, with all the modern conveniences as you can expect. Um, the batteries are full. It's 2 o'clock in the day, so obviously we had good sunshine. The batteries are full. Um, it's, it's super healthy. Oh, the system is as a, the system can support a, a three bedroom home. A three air conditioning, it can support a refrigerator. You wouldn't put a dryer on this one. The batteries are full and nobody is using the energy. Um, at this moment, there's not many people home, so they're not really using much energy. When they get home tonight, they'll come home to full batteries. Yeah, man. So here we, we got the buyer, um, the owner of the solar system. Um, I'd like to, I guess, just find out how he, how he finds it so far. How long, how long it's been installed now? Uh, I would say roughly four months. Oh, four months, yeah. right, cool. How are you finding it? Uh, I would say it has been a very cost-effective move. Um, oh, cool. I, I would describe this as a community where if power goes out, then you're at JPS mercy as to when they come and restore the service, especially given the terrain of the community. But with solar panels, you really don't have to worry about these kind of things. Uh, I do generally have a lot of equipment running and the system uh, manages to facilitate it, such as a garage door. If you were to run that at JPS, 
it does generate a lot of energy because the lights are automatic. When you leave, you do see when it's turned off. But like I said, with solar panel, it has become uh, very affordable. Yeah, the upfront is a proper upfront investment. Yeah. And you, you just, it, I like to refer to it as a money printer. Yeah. It's been going well and, and so, and what, what he's referring to is, it's just, it maintains a higher voltage. It, if, if your equipment needs 110 volt, sometimes um, when you're in certain places, if you're not too close to a, a transformer, you know, um, it sometimes the voltage will drop. JPS voltage will drop sometimes. It all depends. But with with you, you have your own inverter. It will maintain your voltage as long as your batteries are full. Which is basically we design our systems so always a full battery. So my brother, um, how, how the light bill go before you got solar? I guess before and after. Well, prior to the panels, the I would say the bill range from nine thousand to eleven thousand. Uh, no, I would say it's virtually nothing, uh, 500, 600 dollars, it could be less. Are you just paying for to stay connected, yeah. for the backup basically. Over the years I've, I've, I've seen where a lot of people are skeptical of this because it, it, is a, it sounds like a, it sounds too good to be true at times, that you're going to actually generate your own energy and don't have to worry about paying this bill every month. and. You know, so you have any word? To, how, how, how you, what would you say to somebody who is like, no, this 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 too good to be true? I Not would recommend really. that such a person they make the move because, as I said, it's a great investment. And the when you see look at your JPS bill and you can't understand it, um, there's a lot of things that um, go into how your JPS bill is calculated. Some of which you might not understand. So. When oil prices go up, your JPS bills goes up as well. There's really no um, proper communication sometimes from, from the company. So with your solar panel, um, everything is in your control. Um, uh, you have power at your disposal. And I would say um, 10 years from now, it would be an even better investment. So I would say make the move and go solar.